Hi, Gemini Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Gemini. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three-card spread, mind, body, and spirit, using the Melanita Classic Tarot deck. I'm going to clarify those three cards using the Egyptian Tarot deck. And at the end of your reading, I will do an overall card coming from the Major Arcana using the Golden Tarot deck. I've already pre-shuffled all of the decks. I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times and uh, split the deck and then we will begin your read. But before I do that, uh, I want to speak on all these goodies that we have here. The background being dedicated to a few moons who are being featured in the Spotlight series for this round of readings. This being a great opportunity for healing. I do feel this is about a big, huge burst for the Divine Feminines out there here too as well. And um, being great leaders and energy healers and light workers who are out out in the field here and uh, doing some good work and staying uh, very persistent and consistent with the, the dedication and purpose that we have all signed up for. But this just being an overall joyful energy, having gone through what it is that uh, a lot of us have coming to a certain point in our journeys and being able to take the light in this beautiful rainbow energy here of being healed, of having recognition and being able to provide remembrance for others around us who um, have yet to go through awakenings and this just being a part of uh, being a, being of service. But um, with that being said, it's time to treat yourself. So with all of that work, all of that hard work, that, that very extensive and deep internal transformative work, getting to this point now here, taking some time to uh, really appreciate self, to love self just a little bit more. I do feel with the last moon phases that we've had, the full moon and new moon as of late, and this is a timeless reading, so do take what resonates, but with the intensity of that and that change that's coming about, uh, this just being unnecessary situation for the entire world. And so this just, again, being an opportunity to take that time to rest, to realize that you've done some really great work and you continue to do so. But along the way, have this in your life every single day because you deserve it. It's time to treat yourself. And so this being a part of the Afukas Moon energy, the wonderful feminine, divine feminine energy that... Um, I do feel has been avoided, has been attempted to be stuffed underneath the surface, to be hidden, and to um, be disregarded and totally disrespected and it just not happening or being something that can take place anymore given this lifetime with that opportunity. The Afukas Moon energy is very strongly tied to Scorpio, but with it being also in between Scorpio and Sagittarius, there being that great part of Sagittarius being a part of Afukas here too as well, with Afukas being one in its own, but definitely having, I feel, very unique qualities when it comes to representation and the purpose of the Afukas energy. The rainbow energy, I did connect that with the chakra energy with all seven chakras and that elevation, healing from the bottom to the very top, getting to that crown and and busting open that crown and being able to connect to the galaxies, reaching out and receiving download from ancestors. Overall, a beautiful divine energy that's coming through with that supportive assistance that is uh, meant to help us all be great healers from within ourselves. So this possibly being a part of that energy of treating yourself and realizing that you have the power from within you to create the change that you wish to see in your life, but also to be able to heal yourself and to be able to heal others. This being in all of us here. So get on it. 
the other uh, energy. And if you know any of Fucus Moons, do send them some love, as much love as you can. I do feel Fucus Moons, um, out of all the zodiacs, given that a Fucus energy is uh, very little recognized, could definitely use and appreciate the support. All right, so then with the moon energy here, we are in the first quarter moon today. And this was carried on from the Scorpio energy from them being featured, the Scorpio moons being featured in the Spotlight series. So with this card, uh, first quarter moon, and this being something that I was just guided to carry on with me doing moon sign readings. Your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. This being that actual phase that we're going through today. And so I'm going to read the uh, reading for this card. I do have, we, and the moon is in Scorpio currently, which is really cool. And so um, just to kind of give a brief description of what the first quarter moon is, the moon is 90 degrees away from the sun in the sky and is half illuminated from our point of view. We call it first quarter because the moon has traveled about a quarter of the way around Earth since the new moon. Let me grab the reading here. Your commitment is being tested. Let me pause the music here. It is really sunny today, <laughs> which is beautiful. It's a beautiful Saturday today. Beautiful day of Saturn, I should say. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. There could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works? Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you, so believe in yourself. Attune to the moon by affirming, I am committed to my dreams and move towards them with confidence. Additional meanings for this card. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something. You need to recommit to someone or something. The teaching. In the lunar cycle, the first quarter moon comes between the new moon and the full moon. It's a time when the sun and moon are at a hard astrological angle to each other and this can prompt a small crisis. No matter when you pull this card, you need to see any dramas as a stepping stone to where you want to be. It can also be a time when you need to stay strong through a storm. All right, so we'll move this here. And I hope that, I hope that those messages were helpful for you. Let's get to the parties here. Give me one second. BRB. Gemini moons.
Okay, Gemini Moons, your first card for the mind. We have is the Two of Swords in reverse. And by the way, I'm just getting that um, there's no indecision. A decision has been made. There's been a process of going within to listen to self. Eliminating all outside distraction in order to be able to make the best decision on whatever that may be moving forward. This is your energy here with the swords energy and then also Libra and Aquarius energy. Two energy, I am getting this being connected to a partnership. So this could be about romantic partnership. This could be about business partnership. This could be about friendship or having to do with family. I am getting this being connected to business and romantic more than the others, but definitely could be all four of those um, different parts and areas of your life. With that four energy, I'm also picking up the um, energy of Cancerian energy. This having to do with matters of the home and security, safety, and protection. I do feel that um, you may have been guarded. This is also possibly being able to come to a certain point to put your guard down and treat yourself <laughs> that wanted to come through. So you just being at a point, I feel, where you have um, really been guarded and standing your ground. That being seven energy connected to Libra, but really doing what's necessary to take care of yourself before making the next step or having a decision on your next move. That new moon energy, we just have that energy just coming off of that. And it's still kind of being remnant with that new moon energy kind of lasting for five days or so after its uh, peak. And so um, we're just coming off of that energy. And I do feel with that wearing off of that new moon energy and moving into that first quarter moon energy, this being that significant message coming through related to the uh, moon reading that just uh, came through for the first quarter moon here. But having a knowing about what it is that you want to do, being set in the mind here and uh, preparing. We're also getting two of one energy, preparing for the next moves here. Some of you may have had to go to a certain spot, to travel to a certain location, just being guided and following your guidance. Maybe not even realize it right away, um, but you being definitely guided to go to a particular spot or location. And this being supportive um, energy, the water energy, having to do with feeling and um, emotion. Being connected to the water while staying outside of your emotion, not involving emotion where one could be reactive and utilizing the water energy outside of you to be able to make that decision there too as well, that coming through very strongly. I keep seeing the, the feet here and they are green, the color green representing the heart chakra energy, but also Taurus energy. So with that Taurus energy and that being the energy of the two here too, with uh, second house energy of Taurus, this being connected back to that Cancerian energy as well when it comes to stability and matters of the home. This could also be connected to finances and comfort. The comforts of uh, one's home and one's surroundings. Making a particular change because there being some kind of decision that was made here when it comes to those matters there. This energy here, I am getting this as a triangle energy of fire. So I'm seeing this as a part of your polarity energy of Sagittarius coming through here too as well with that triangle fire energy. The triangle being a symbol for fire. That red energy, I'm now seeing those red uh, hills or mountains here in the background here too. That being connected to uh, fire energy here too as well. Mars energy and Aries and Scorpio. So that could be significant too. 
the root chakra energy as well being related to this where that being that base energy that base chakra that's very important to heal to be able to reach all of the remaining energetic chakras in one center so that possibly being a part of the focus with this two of swords upright going within to be able to heal those uh that root chakra there work on that root chakra energy to have more clarity to detox and to be more clear from within to release what no longer serves creating space for what does let's see what we have for your body we have the page of swords in reverse and right away i'm just getting someone who's been spying on you who does not want to be seen but they are being seen and i also feel with this reversal this also being about it being over with the two reversal energies and that red coming through with the Mars energy and Scorpio, I'm getting this red also being tied to the uh, energy here of someone that you have had a significant connection with, whether you um, get along with them or not. This being a part of your journey here to help you to work through those root chakra energies. There being a specific person, uh, a sp specific purpose when it comes to this and um, yeah just with the more more of the swords energy here I'm just getting this being a part of both energies here having to come and cross paths with one another and the actions that have been taken are uh, immature here with that page energy this is also about messages so immaturity related to messages that are being sent. This could be telepathic. This could also be in the physical here. We do have that physical energy with this being in the body. But um, this being a part, again, with that red energy and working through the root chakra energy, that being a part of both energies here to be able to take the opportunity to uh, walk that path of integrity and do what's right to be able to close certain karmic cycles here. But I am getting majorly here that there's just a, a major spy who is pretending like they don't see you and they can't help it. That water energy coming through, I feel that your presence is very strong. And because you have gone within, have cleared your energy, it just has uh, made you stronger and you resonate. Your vibration is uh, very, very, very strong. And so with the head being turned away from you here too as well, I feel you've turned to, you know, have gone within. This person has turned a blind eye towards you, giving the impression that, um, you know, they're not really paying attention, but they are. And I do feel with your decision here, with this two of swords and the mindset here and having um, come into a confident place of a knowing this energy having an uh, overturning moment here of some sort. This could also be a scorpionic energy that you're dealing with in relation to the root chakra energy and healing that energy to be able to come into your full self for a new part of your journey here. This person having a certain amount of abundance here. But it only goes so far due to the actions of what's here in this page of swords. Just not wanting to see or appreciate everything that is around them, the opportunities that they've been given, constantly on guard. And I feel that's a part of why it was that you were on guard and are no longer like this, um, having gone with them. You do have boundaries. I am getting that here, but I'm definitely releasing a lot of this with a, a specific knowing about a particular part of your path here. I feel that you do have movement forward. And with the overturning of this, this also speaking to this type of situation being over here. And so you letting a little bit of that down, but this person, 
I feel with this also being in reverse, like I'm, I'm just seeing having the sword here, like wielding it and just doing all kinds of aggressive action with it, just being very reactive. And that was coming through as I was speaking on that two of swords and what it is that you were dealing with. And so with that reversal energy, I'm just getting, I'm hearing crazy. But as Kanye is saying, anything that you faced, definitely designed to help you to be stronger. It may be possible too that this person doesn't want to see the truth from within themselves, realizing that the reflection that they see when they see you. And I'll only say, uh, with the Taurus Moon reading, race relations came into the reading. And I feel that it is a, a very cl a complex moment of realizing that we are actually all connected despite color. We are all connected. We all come together and create the beautiful sum of the whole of this beautiful universe that we are a part of. And I feel that that's also a part of this action here with that sword and just being in denial about the truth of themselves. And having a hard time getting past the color energy where this could be someone that's not even of color, but they are of color because they represent all the energies that are around them and vice versa. So having some issue with their identity here and accepting the truth and the knowledge and the wisdom that is surrounding them and not being a part of that immaturity there too. And so you having to go within Having a blindfold here, I mean, because it's chaotic. I'm getting this being chaotic energy. You having to go into this peaceful energy here to protect yourself and your loved ones, your family, and still having that energy of that beautiful, unconditional love coming from the heart chakra energy, relying and trusting the universe here with that water energy to um, support your feel so that you could stay out of your feelings in connection to this aggressive behavior here. Let's see what we have for spirit. That person looking right at this ending and that being a part of that energy I was getting of that aggressiveness, not wanting to see the truth and that being a part of some resistance here when it comes to a major cycle because the cycle is closed. This is over. That decision has been made. You have manifested that closing here with your decision. Being very confident. And your decision moving on and moving away from this energy here so you can move into greater partnership and also greater abundance with that Taurus energy and second house energy. High Priestess energy is coming through here too as well. So I do feel that's just a part of you having that stronger knowing, that internal knowing and also the clearing of your chakras to be able to elevate and receive those downloads from the crown. This being a card of 21, this is the last card of the Major Arcana that uh, overall breaks down to a three. You being this beautiful Empress, being very balanced, the seven energy from Libra coming through very strongly, and then also uh, Aquarius being represented here in this card. So we have all of the air energy, the teamwork of the air signs coming together to support and I, I just I'm seeing this in more of the readings where it's that teamwork and coming together not just as the elemental signs but it's like really taking um, great importance when it comes to the actual element so really being supportive towards your own element I feel so Gemini Lib Libra and Aquarius all supporting one another as that nucleus of that element and then all of the elements coming together to work very strongly in the collective to create change that is for the betterment of all that's exposing a lot of toxicity that um, needs healing needs healing so that it can be erased so that it can stop it's continuum in our children as we continue to move forward and grow. There's no more space is what I'm hearing. There's no more space for this toxicity. 
And so I feel that the work that's being done is to help to uh, remove a lot of that toxicity to create space for more happiness and peace and healthiness and whole wholeness, wholeness all together so that everyone in this world can live in peace. Realizing that that is possible. All things are possible. And everyone deserves happiness. But I do feel that what it is that you've dealt with, this just being about the change that you're making, that is going to um, cause some kind of change here. where it, It's already happening here. And that being a part of that reactive energy here. But a cycle being closed majorly here is what I'm hearing. And you've had great support. You're surrounded with great support here. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Two X's. I'm getting connected to these two X's here. So judgment coming through double time. With the overall energy of that impact of how strong that judgment energy is and that significant amount of drastic change here. Creating that ace energy and that one right there for you and a new beginning that has absolutely nothing to do with the past. And I do feel a lot of your past has been dealing with a lot of very toxic energies. This being from within you and you realizing you being the change is creating the change that you see outside of yourself. So being able to remove yourself because you have released and removed that toxicity from within you may very possibly have very strong uh, a fucus energy in your chart as well. Seeing the purple energy that's coming through. Purple being a color for a fucus. And it being the darker purple, where I do uh, recall the lighter purple being for Sagittarius. But overall, this again, just also speaking to that purple standing for royalty here too as well. Being that supportive energy coming from Leo. Occult gifts coming from Scorpio. Humanitarian gifts coming from Aquarius. Abundant as fuck energies coming from Taurus. These being all of your blessings here, but you also being supported by each of these energies outside of you to help create this beautiful protection here to be able to close the cycle, close major cycles, to still remain and have your balance here and move forward gracefully saying goodbye to this energy here and i'm here and i see you that being a part of the high priestess energy you having a knowing about this particular energy from the jump being prepared taking the necessary steps with each step very meticulously to be able to successfully move out of this particular part of your uh, journey here and bring it a close zero energy being full energy and this also being about you taking a leap of faith here the zero energy is also right after this being a part of that new cycle energy so after the world card begins a new cycle starting with the full energy so you already being in this energy here it's already been done and that being expressed here too this being in your spirit here this is beautiful energy here Receiving your rightful abundance and everything that is uh, meant for you. And also having the glory. But also being seen as this beautiful empress who is, um, you know, all about truth. All about truth. There being nothing but this beautiful garment, this purple royal garment here as representation of who it is that you are. And you being seen for this here. It being impossible to not see you um, as this beautiful energy here. And I do feel these tens also speak to what it is that you've gone through. So these tens here with the red, that being connected to the root chakra energy. I'm getting that being connected to the ten of swords and the ten of wands that you may have experienced way too many times. And that being a part of feeling and getting out of your feeling to be able to, again, make the best decision for yourself. So feeling a certain way about certain cycles but again this all being a part of your purpose here to help not just you but to help others who definitely definitely need major healing here and then i feel that the reward here in this 
210 energy here that connects to make that 24 judgment. This being about reaping what one has sown, reaping what one has sown. So from that 10 of swords and 10 of wands, that being reaping energy, what you put in is what you get out. You making the best decision for yourself, that is you having that knowing that what you put in, what you put in is what you're going to get out. So making the best moves for yourself here while there being a total opposite energy here and not realizing the consequences of their actions. So this being the reward here with the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles is what I'm getting connected to your new beginning that has nothing to do with the past. And again, you gracefully saying peace out. Love it. Love it, love it, love it for you, Gemini Moves. This is great. I'm going to move this up here and we'll get to your clarifiers. Clarify the Two of Swords in reverse. Queen of Chalices, you loving boo. You're very kind-hearted, giving, caring, nurturing, intuitive, blessed, graceful, this being that similar energy here, very graceful energy. You still offering a cup and having compassion for those energies because you have that understanding of why it is that, you know, certain energies of negativity and toxicity do what it is that they do. And there's no healing when it comes to that root chakra, it being chalky. Just seeing the amount of red here, it being chalky when it comes to the steps, misstepping and taking reactive actions that um, have a very hard consequences with it being blocked off when it comes to the heart energy, the heart chakra energy, and all the energies, I mean, all the way up here. And then just having that blockage that was coming through with, I'm getting very strongly, this being an energy, um, one who is in this lifetime who is not of color, who could be Caucasian, and having an identity issue here, realizing that, you know, people of color outside of them it's actually a reflective energy of who it is that they are too. And that being a part of that clogginess that's coming through with this reversal energy overall. And so you just having compassion for these energies because you have that knowing. You know what's up. And you wish them well. But you're also moving forward into your successes here. You've done what you've needed to do. You've done your part as a part of your journey in dealing with this particular type of energy in all different ways. Again, four different ways that came through that could re uh, resonate for you here. This queen energy being a part of empress energy. Chalice is being cup energy here. Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and a few fists. You having great love, great love from within. And you express love every single day is what I'm hearing. But you uh, giving ode to the past here. I feel, you know, you created this Ace of Cup beginning for yourself. Being able to fill up your own cup. Realizing that is very important in order for you to live your best life. To be at peace. To be happy. But also to be able to give to others with the uh, big heart that you have. Always wanting to give and share. Again, knowing that what you put in is what you get back. A lot of you may be growing plants, flowers, and enjoy watering and taking care and nurturing your seeds. This could also be about your children. And destined energy I'm getting overall here with this card, this Egyptian card here. It's just being a part of your destiny. And you being graceful, realizing it's a part of your destiny and that you're moving into greater abundance. All four, all four queens, that four energy coming through again. All four queens, so all the four different facets where you may most likely, I'm getting very strongly, a lot of you have four different areas of your life where you're dealing with this particular type of energy and just conquering all of it and overcoming the evidence being here. And in doing so, that four energy with the four queen energies, the four elemental energies, and that also came through as well with... Um, the teamwork that's coming through, all four energies of the queens 
having all different elements here coming together as your Empress energy and that Empress energy coming through here with the three card being the Empress and the Major Arcana. Very happy and joyful energy coming from you here. And this being that internal energy from within here too. You growing this by being in that energy. And now having that intuitiveness, using your intuitiveness to be able to make the best decision for yourself moving forward. And having made it, cycle close. Major karmic cycle close. Cycles, I should say. And we have that four energy there too as well. A lot of fours. So you may be seeing a lot of fours. That just being supportive energy from the universe to uh, let you know that you do have stability. You are stable and you are strong and you're very loving. Cancerian energy, fourth house coming through there too. Let's clarify the page of swords in reverse. All right, so for some of you, I'm getting twin flame energy with the temperance card um you having patience overall though um so i'll just speak on the twin flame energy first here just seeing that right away this gave me the energy of uh, that reactive energy here when it came to a twin flame here and them just being very much in the dark so this also outside of the race relation energy could also be connected to the soulmate energy and the the energy of one not being woke so you having a twin flame that hasn't come into an awakening here and this being a part of your your purpose here and you making those strong decisions for yourself by you making the changes creating change within others where they have to see they cannot do anything but see the truth of situations and who it is that you are and who it is that they are the truth of themselves and everything coming to light being supportive energy from the universe here so you having a twin flame who's been who's been spying on you watching you having that feeling and that knowing you may have come into connection at some point and with twin flames there's uh coming together and then there can be that very intense and deep separation and then that happening every now and again over time i do feel that you have completely separated yourself from that energy, having that decision made for yourself and that Ace of Cup and loving yourself because taking part in Twin Flame energy in the past related to this toxicity here has not um, been something that has been pleasant for you. And so you realizing this and again, being the change and creating change and moving away from this reactive energy. So then I'm also picking this up here too, where you have outside of the Twin Flame, you've had great patience here. You being a Twin Flame here, but this Knight of Wand energy coming through where it's been very uh, reactive. This being fire energy here. And a part of your shadow work here too. This is also Sagittarius energy with the Temperance here. So you facing, going within into that darkness here. To face the truth of yourself and your realities. To see what it is that you needed to change from within yourself and the love that was needed for you and, and yourself here to be able to heal and uh, really finally settle these uh, root chakra energies, heal these energies once and for all so that you can move forward into your rightful abundance and not being connected to those red tins there too with the ten of swords and the ten of wands that you most likely experience from this reactive energy and um, lower vibrational energy. You having patience overall being this temperance energy here. The temperance angel here. Having that knowing. Being a part of that sunlight and that clarity. But you also being an, the illuminator. And that came through. That comes through quite often in your readings. But you being the illumination. This being a part of your purpose. And you also being seen again for your gracefulness. How it is that you move forward. How it is that you continue to take steps. Very lightly, this white energy also being representative of Cancerian energy. And we have that energy there too. And on you here in this queen card. 
and a part of the beautiful wings here. The heart chakra energy coming through with the sash here. The two cup energy here. I'm getting this being connected to the ace of cup where you are creating the love for yourself here and your own partnership of a two of cup energy with your masculine and feminine here. But being able to take what you've been given as far as this toxicity and reactive behavior here that has been attempting to harm. I feel that you're surrounding this energy also speaking to how it is that you resonate where you're very magnetic and however much this person does not want to be seen or see the truth or feel what it is that you um, have been given just being in connection with you there's just being a part of that magnetism that's coming through where there it's there's no there's no way to get around your energy here and having to see the truth of themselves and what it is that they've taken part in here where they have come at you blindsided while you're just minding your business here, doing your thing as a part of your purpose here, answering to the call here, being that light for others, being very balanced, being able to alchemize, being very strong, and that naked energy also coming through here too. There's more masculine energy that's here. This is androgynous energy with the temperance energy, but we do have more of that masculine that's coming through in comparison here too the world card here with the feminine energy being here. So that's just speaking to the balance that's represented here with the two wands being held by masculine and um, or masculine and feminine energy and the hands there. There being a significance when it comes to the hands and I do feel that's connected to a lot of you being energy healers. And also the feet as well. And so again, um, the reactive energy, doing things behind your back, where it may not even be physically action coming towards you, even though we do have that here with this being in the body. So that very well could be possible when it comes to those four energies of who it is that you were dealing with as far as this behavior here. But doing things behind your back, coming at you with things, blindsiding you with, you know, this negativity and toxicity and um, overall just in and out fiery reactive behavior doing things as they please whenever they feel like it every now and then and then just being very reactive and uh, immature having more love for material things here too putting more love into other things and not even putting that love into themselves and doing it so much so that it has an effect or has had an effect on others outside of them where it's been toxic energy here. You moving away from this, staying true, staying balanced, staying fair, staying in the light, being strong and being protected here, but also being an illuminator for those who do attempt to have this uh, particular energy towards you. You walking away from this. And that being evident here and here. This is a card of 14. That breaks down to an overall five. Fives could be significant for you. Fifth house energy of Leo is coming through. So that supportive energy of that royalty, letting you know who it is that you really are here as this temperance angel here. And that being a part of the shadow energy from Sagittarius. Wands energy is fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and Ephesus. Night energy is a part of the chariot energy. where all four of the knights create the chariot energy. And the way that the chariot can be um, represented, like that can also produce a null energy. It's not necessarily all about movement. It's about the force and the power that is connected to the chariot, where in comparison to the other trumps in the uh, tarot deck I would say it's uh, almost connected to that lower vibrational energy especially with what is coming through for this reading and the clarification of that page of swords in reverse well, let's clarify the world card we have the king of swords automatically reflecting that truth there 
Two of Wands energy, that coming through, connected to that two and you making a decision. No longer in that Two of Swords, now in this Two of Wands and the action. I do feel that this is also possibly about two energies that may have been working together where you had that knowing about the reactive energy here of both of these energies and reflecting the truth back on that particular energy there too. So that coming through as well. But I am getting about uh, this being about you reflecting that energy back to where it just is inevitable for anyone who comes across your path because you are this illuminator here. Inevitable for anyone to not see the truth within themselves here. And this being a part of your purpose. So job well done. And continue to do the great works that it is that you do. Staying strong in your truth and loving yourself. And being an overall royal boss here. This is beautiful. You have great abundance and harvest that you are reaping. Everything that's been in store for you. Your destiny is coming through for you very strongly here. You just creating more and more power. I feel what it is that you experience just makes you stronger. And we did have that message come through from uh, Kanye not too long ago, a couple songs ago. All right, so this just being you here with that swords energy coming through very strongly. And I know what I just saw here behind this, and this is major. This is awesome what's coming through. This last card on the bottom underneath these cards. But this king energy being a part of the emperor energy where it's connected to the masculine and the feminine energy from within you here. And I feel with you being this king of sword, you've definitely dealt with and this being a part of your shadow work here and what it is that you've dealt with. But instead of that being king energy, it's been a page energy. And that being a part of that chaotic energy, the immature energy. Um, and that, again, just having to do with the blockage of this person here. But you being uh, in this person's life here to help them to see the truth for themselves here. To want to help them to want to make the choice for themselves. To make change. To see what it is that they've been doing, how it is that they've been doing things and how it's pretty much been um, not very productive when it comes to the world here, not being beneficial. It being to some extent helpful because it's helping to see what needs to be changed. So it is being helpful with this energy, no matter you know the vibration, the negative needs the positive and vice versa. So it all coming together, but this, again, just confirming the level of maturity that you've been dealing with and you being in this upright King of Swords, overcoming and conquering. The truth. The truth. That nakedness being about the truth. And so then we have already spoken on this two of wands, that wanting to come through. I'm getting this um, being connected to also the six of wands. We're in the six of wands of the Melanated Classic Tarot deck. There's a two of wands energy that is behind the person who is on top of the horse, moving with an ace of wand, new beginning in their hand towards the three of wands of seeing their ships come in that all coming together to create that six overall of victory so you having again let's just speak into the victory and how it is that you've overcome reflecting the truth on who it is that you've dealt with as far as this reactive behavior where it could have been two different people and this could be two separate people here too with that twin flame energy and you having a twin flame and then also another person here and just that just being two different energies coming through possibly here connected to that overall page of sword but i am getting this um just being reflective energy and you having that knowing about what has been taking place as far as what has been coming towards you and so the way that you have built a boundary here is by holding up that sword of truth to protect yourself this being one of those swords here that you have held here so almost to what I'm getting with that two of swords in reverse and this um, being about making a decision, laying down one of these swords. And I was getting that where you kind of let your guard down a little bit, still having your guard up, 
but um, it just being real hardcore because it got really crazy at one point. And so you being able to set one sword down, having made a very strong decision when it comes to the love for you and yourself and saying goodbye to what no longer serves and having one of those swords still held in your hand to reflect the truth and be the truth on what it is that you've experienced here when it came to Knight of Wands energy, where it may have been two specific people. And this could even be about uh, bipolar energy here with one person and having two sword or two wands here, that coming through there too as well. And you helping to see a particular individual here to see that truth from within themselves that they may possibly have a dis-ease from within here. And then finally, <laughs> which is super cool, we have the sun energy. So what I was seeing was the same representation here, here in this world card with the two X's, the two tens, that, that beautiful sun energy being connected to your rewards here, you receiving that clarity, but also being the illuminator, that sun being your backing and your supportive energy, but also coming from within you here. That being in you with that clearing and that space being cleared, that sunlight coming all throughout you here and being that illumination, helping you to heal, but then also providing you with the blessings that are destined for you here. So those two tens, the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles being a part and being protected as a part of your new ace energy here and that new beginning for you here. This being connected to the world card overall with you overcoming and accomplishing and successfully closing major karmic cycles. Being supported heavily. Two energy with the two hands. We have the same energy that's here being held by the arms to show the strength of one here. And also surrendering and allowing the universe to come through for you. Trusting and having that knowing right there in that two of swords. And so you receiving the clarity that is necessary for you to make the best possible decision for yourself and you're gracefully moving in love. Love it. But also being strong in your air power here and reflecting the truth. This is more Leo energy here too as well. The sun is considered to be the happiest card of the deck. This is also about rebirth. You being in this egg center here, being in that beautiful energy of that newness and coming into that full energy of a new cycle, rebirth for sure. No repeats of the past. This is a card of 19. And that breaks down to an overall one. That one being very important and it's, I'm just hearing champion, you're a champion. Just going back many, many lifetimes here. You worked very hard over the, pro the the whole process of all these lifetimes I feel that you have been through to be able to gain what it is that you needed to learn from the experiences that you've gone through. And now being in this lifetime and, and doing a great damn job and making sure that there's no repeats for your your future, for your children, for their children, for all the children as we move forward so that we can come into this world in happiness and peace and have it continue <clears throat> without the, um, excuse me, without the, um, the 3D programming that has uh, affected and allowed others to stay in a sleepy state and be jaded and move in a way of darkness where there's no balance and connection to the light. I'll do this here. Let's get to your final card. For Gemini Moon. Oh, goodness. All right. So those wanted to come out. This, I'm just getting this uh, being about you being strong in your moon power, but then also about what it is that you've dealt with being um, under under wraps. And then also that Page of Swords energy wanting to not be seen and that being a part of that secretive energy here. I do feel that who it is that you've dealt with has also low self-esteem and lack of confidence from within themselves. That being a part of the shadow work where you may have felt that way about yourself at one point, not having confidence 
and not having a high self-esteem or believing in yourself. And these particular situations coming into your life to help you to grow into that clarity and that awareness for yourself to help you to see that you're more beautiful than you have ever even realized or known for yourself. And I feel that as you continue to be supported and move through, supported by the universe, but definitely being in your power and staying strong, you seeing just what it is that you're capable of and this contributing to even more of the confidence that um, has been lacking. And so as you are gaining this and these particular energies still wanting to remain in this way, this no longer resonating for you. So this being a part of that initiation of going within to make the best decision, knowing that, um, again, what you put in is what you get out. So you moving gracefully and away from this type of stuff, you've done your job, cycles are closed. And it being all about the choices of these particular energies here that want to stay in this, they have the choice to do that or to move into greater here for themselves. So that being a part of that moon energy, this being a card of 18, that breaks down to an overall nine here. And that's speaking to the Sagittarius shadow energy for you here, helping you to move into greater spirituality here too as well, but also greater abundance with Jupiter being the ruler of Sagittarius and Pisces as well. So that also being connected to um, the one and the two energy coming from this world card. 12th house energy coming through. Overall for um, Pisces. The 8 energy coming through with that as, of, as above, so as below. Um, with the 1 and the 8 that's here. And then also Scorpionic energy. But I'm seeing this 10 being separate from this 8 here. And that being a part of that ten of swords, ten of wand energy with the moon energy and the secrecy. This being very strong energy of cancer with the moon being the ruler of cancer. And then also Pisces representation here too. New moon energy here. That we have right there. This just being a part of your purpose and your journey connected to these energies here. Hangman, the 12 energy the one, <laughs> the one and the two creating the three. So I do feel with this coming underneath the moon card, this being about what it is that you have dealt with, being a sacrifice, but also being very divinely connected, being a chosen one, and that one energy being important here too. And also having a destiny, I feel when it comes to a partnership, you being designed, all of us being designed to be in happy, collaborative partnerships and commitments and not ones of toxicity. So anything that's represented that, you realizing that you don't have to take part in that and you can move on and you can move forward. I think this person may also be surprised too, seeing the strength of who it is that you are Assuming that you would always be in this hangman energy here as a sacrifice here, you releasing yourself, being upright, being safe and protected in this beautiful golden egg of an energy here, having completed this successfully here, but you've been in this energy here as a sacrificial lamb for far too long. And that also being a part of the secrecy here. The Trinity energy represented with that 12 overall and the three. And then with this, I'm getting the rewards here of two. That two energy with you making the best decision, being graceful, being loving and nurturing, using your intuition here. Being very abundant here too as well and having those blessings of those two Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. New beginnings here for yourself here with a major ending with that Ten energy. I'm also getting that being connected to Capricorn energy, Tenth House energy of Capricorn. Dealing with devil energy, the devil card being a card of Capricorn, but also the wheel of fortune and things turning in your favor by what it is that you've gone through and experienced here. And look at that. We have the devil in reverse. I just said this. I just said this. With that 10. 
and the Capricorn connection there. It's being over. I feel this is also about who it is that you dealt with, with that reversal energy being here and the shadow work that you've worked on and the reflective energy, realizing that we're all connected. And so you seeing the reflection outside of you, realizing that, you know, any of this energy that's been outside of you has been the workings from within yourself here. So you going within to realize what it is that you need to do for yourself to make this change. And in creating the change within yourself here, it's creating the change outside. Toxic, abusive, manipulative. This could be about addictions, obsessions, unfairness, mistreatment, cruelty. And this just being a part of that red energy and what's been carried on, again, through past lifetimes and needing to be brought to light. You being this illuminator here, this being a part of your purpose so that it can be healed and moved on from and not carry on into the beings and the souls and energies of our future babies. This being a card of 15, coming together to create a six. Six is being about um, unconditional love. Six house energy is Virgo. Virgo being the detoxification energy, the healing energy, also with the hermit energy coming through. That being a card of nine as well. We did have the nine energy come through with the moon card. But that being a card of nine and the hermit shining the light on situations, that being a part of that illumination here, so... Healing energy as well, being a great healer and being into the natural essence of what's been created by divine to be able to use this to help us all heal as well. As within, so as without. All right, so Gemini Moves, this was your wonderful reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching for you. Very happy for all of your major successes and accomplishments and what it is that you are greatly moving into. You are a powerhouse and you have a lot of great things that are working in your favor here because of the work that you've done for yourself. A, a massive amount of abundance is coming through for you here. And um, I do feel that you've been given, like you continue to receive trinkets here and there i do feel this is about the breakthrough of major abundance with the amount of the ten of, ten of cups and ten of pentacles and new beginnings coming through for you you just continue to be stronger the stronger you are the more abundant you you are seeing the more abundance you are seeing here beautiful energy that's coming through so again, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, enriching, and empowering for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.